Okay, earlier we spoke about crude, and we spoke about the fact that if price, uh, when I left that previous message, we had one, actually, that was the first candle tonight. Okay, so the first candle tonight, second candle, and then I was counting these four. One, two, three, four. Again, with the other device, I, anyway. I said, if price continues to roll sideways, because we discussed the possibility of a 74 up to 74. Now, we were beyond this candle when we spoke about it, mm. just to make sure we have that clear. <clears throat> we were over here. There's a timestamp. Anyway, 74. Follow the horizontal line on the cursor, 74 up to 74.15, okay, was well below the BBC. As price stalls and rolls sideways, if it continues to roll, come back in the morning and you'll see uh, price just lounging on top kind of like that just lounging on top of the uh, BBC you won't see a bearish cross or you might see a bearish cross you won't see a pull away until this thing finds some energy some way somewhere somehow when price is going to rally, it will go up and find the BBC, okay? When you have this going on, the BBC will slowly come down to find price. And then the two will wrap around each other. And uh, you do not want to be, this is a no-fly zone. Okay. When the CFMA wanted the BBC come together like this, look at another market, walk the dog, make a sandwich, do something. Kegel, I don't know. Just don't trade this market. You can trade something else, just don't trade this market. Now, if the S&P is tied in a similar knot, you might be well advised to be cautious around the other indices. The Dow, the Russell, the NASDAQ. As Michael does not trade into weekly trading zones in the live training room for the very reason he explains, right? We expect it to be good resistance overhead and good support below until proven otherwise. And we said that if price rose up to fulfill the 74 to 74.15 alert that we knew we would be running into some uh, resistance overhead and we would not be looking to, not a good situation for a trail. I mean, it could happen. Price could just rip up through there off some kind of news, but it didn't. It kind of did what we thought it would do, but in case it did the other thing, if it did pull back up to that BBC, we had an opportunity. Now that opportunity it hasn't gone away. I mean, price could still go 74 to 74.15, but now it has to pass through potential resistance before it gets to the target. You with me? Okay. Before our target was on this side of the BBC, that same target is now on the other side of the BBC. So price has to fight through the BBC um, to get to our target. Well, it fought here and lost, and it fought here and lost, and it fought here and lost. Now, look at this. When I left, when I encouraged you earlier to get out your own chart, this is what I was referring to. Price comes down, touches this zone last week, and gets rejected. Only one of three things happen at a weekly zone. Number one is consolidation. 
Number two is rejection. Number three, the slice. I don't have one right here, but if you haven't seen one, I'll show you one. Just let me know. So boing, boing, and no boing. In fact, beyond boing, we came down and the market tested these lower prices. Buyers bid it up, just like buyers took it back here and took it back up here. They let it get significantly lower. Kind of like they're backing up, get a running start at this thing. And how far did they push it? What was once support starting to look like resistance. And it won't be too long before we know. I will be going to the, uh, well, I'm in the channel now. I, as soon as I post this, I will <clears throat> cancel, a cancel and replace or no, I'm just going to, the crude alert we have on right now, I'm going to just make that a, a no trigger because it, it didn't trigger. And the conditions that made it desirable no longer exist. Now, we could roll sideways long enough or droop enough combination that 74 which the weekly zone was 85 to 90. So you're 10 points above that at 74. 74 to 74.15, 74 74.20, even 74.40 is an opportunity, a great opportunity. But we have to see price get on the north side of the BBC at this point. All right. Okay. It's quiet out there. Tonight, I haven't gone through the currencies yet, but I will. And uh, as I've told you all along, I won't send things out just to be sending things out. Um, but you better believe the second an opportunity appears that I know you'll like, you'll hear that telegram. Take care. If I don't talk to you again tonight, oh, I'll see you in the morning. At the bell.